Hey there guys, with the spring updated patch, we have got a new Art of War mission called Advanced Combat. Now we've got gold and all the others, so let's get right into this one and try and get gold as well. As a game progresses, you will gain access to increasingly powerful troops. Heavily armored knights, crossbowmen and men at arms will tend to form the core of your armies. However, you will still find use for lighter troops in a supporting role. Men-at-arms, for instance, are slow and heavy units with significant armor. They can easily defeat any lighter unit on the battlefield. Crossbowmen have a powerful ranged attack that makes quick work of light infantry and does additional damage to heavy units. If you are fielding an infantry force and see many crossbowmen in your enemy's army, retreat to preserve your force. Heavy melee cavalry, such as knights, repel most attacks and can charge at speed, inflicting heavy damage and throwing opponents into disarray. Here, the knights force the crossbowmen to engage unfavorably and quickly cut them down. However, as with regular horsemen, knights should steer away from enemy spearmen. In most battles, you will face armies comprised of many different unit types. Deploy a combined force of your own, choosing units that counter those of the enemy and look for opportunities to draw them in. Remember what you've learned here and add it to your arsenal of battle tactics. Your soldiers have spotted an army marching towards your village. The first group of attackers that will reach you is comprised of men-at-arms, but five more waves of enemies will soon follow. Okay, so it does really seem a lot about counters, so we're gonna have to focus on micro encounters, I think. Okay, so what's going on? Force of enemy men at arms is approaching. Choose a group of units to counter them. Okay. Select that's... one of the production buildings in the center of the village to deploy a group of units. Let's go for crossbowmen. Seems pretty obvious. Let's go for the uh, crossbowmen against the man at arms. Should be okay. Let's go. Let's try and get this. Here comes the enemy. Gold medal. Ready your units. All right. Okay, I did man at arms faster than the crossbowman, I have no idea. Oh, we lost one. Oh no, we lost two. Holy smokes. Okay, we lost two well units. You have defeated the men at arms. Ooh, round one done. Two units. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like we probably shouldn't have lost any there. But oh well. Which is life. Now a group of enemy crossbowmen is coming from the south. Crossbowmen, Choose the okay. right unit type to counter them before they reach the village. Go for horsemen. Now, the pathway is quite narrow, so... Unless we take the fight the here, Ready your units. I feel like we want to take it in the town, actually. We'll take the fight in the town. We'll go line formation again. 
Right, we'll wait for them to come. Gotta try and micro the first unit that they attack. That's the unit we've got to make sure we kind of keep an eye on. All right. So yeah, we're going to aim for the gold medal, of course. We've got the gold medal on the other Art of War missions, so we've got to try and get the full sweep of gold medals, hopefully. Let's just see what these... These guys will probably attack this house, I would have thought. Yeah. It's this one. No, this one's going to die, damn it. And this one, no, save him, save him, save him. Ah, oh, he died as well. Okay, so we lost two. Your village is safe from the crossbowmen. There was literally no micro there. That's unfortunate. We lost two units there. I don't know if we're going to have enough to win gold medal here, but we'll try our best. A new wave of enemy knights is heading for your village. Knights. Produce a group of defenders to hold off the enemy. Okay, spearmen. What? So what can we use? We can maybe go around here. Have a nice choke point. Maybe let's go here. Here comes the enemy. Ready your cliffs, of course. Oh, you know what? Let's flank them a little bit. Get line formation. Okay, yeah, that should work. Save this guy. Save this guy. Nice. We didn't lose anything there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Three more rounds to go, guys. Spearman or crossbowman? Okay, so we're going to get archers for the spearmen. Attacking with two different types of units. Spearmen uh, and crossbowmen are now approaching from the south. You can also field two different groups of units to defend your village. See this sparse forest near the road? You can use it to hide your units and ambush your enemies as they pass. Here comes the enemy. Ready your units. Okay, we get the archers for the spearmen and the... Um, Horsemen for the crossbowmen, of course. I uh, probably want the line formation again. Oh damn, we lost one archer already. Oh no, what's this horseman doing? Holy smokes. Oh, that didn't go very well, did it? Okay, we've got to take the weak guys away. I want to save this horseman. By using a combination of unit types, you have outmaneuvered the enemy. Yeah, I don't know how that went. I, that didn't really feel like it went very well at all, that one, actually. That was pretty bad. Getting 9 the out of 15. Enemy sending men at arms and horsemen to attack your buildings. Select two different groups of units to defend against the attackers. Okay, spearmen and crossbows. I would go in this, this cliff here. Next to the road. Allow your ranged units to fire down on enemies 
without Sorry, opening themselves up to immediate counterattack. Yeah, that makes sense. The natural choke point leading up to the cliffs is a good spot to position your infantry and protect your ranged units. Here comes the enemy. Ready your units. Okay, let's get ready for this. This should work. Just keep these guys together. Yeah, we'll, you know, we just want normal formation. We want normal formation for these guys, I think. We should be able to attack this guy. We need to get the man at arms, actually. Save this guy. Save this guy. Good work. Okay. The enemy raiders could not overcome your superior. Nice. Okay, we've only got three units left though. Hmm, it's gonna be tricky, I think. A final group of archers and knights are prepared to attack. Archers and knights. Choose two types of units to defeat the enemy's final attack. Okay. We're gonna go for knights. Crossbowmen. Yeah, I was thinking of getting spears, but I don't know how I feel about that. We're gonna go for knights on front, and crossbowmen are gonna take crossbow are gonna take the knights out, and then the knights are gonna my knights are gonna take out the archers. Let's get line formation. I think that's the best way forward. And we want to make sure that the crossbowmen do a lot of damage. Oh, save this knight. Oh, what? They killed that knight? That's annoying. It's actually super annoying. Should still be able to get gold here, though. As long as we don't lose any crossbows. Victory. Nice. You have defeated we did it. The enemy and secured your village. I think that's it, right? Hopefully. Because we don't actually have any other units to spare. Ah, GG's. Guys, we did it. So that's the gold medal for advanced combat. And uh, of course, I've done all the other Art of War missions as well. So do check them out on the YouTube playlist if you're interested. But otherwise, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up. And hopefully, I shall see you guys on other videos. I've got plenty of other content ranging from build orders to um, like coaching kind of videos. So do check them out on the YouTube channel. Take care and see you next time.